Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the most beautiful tank in the entire game. The mighty KV-2. Stalinium himself. Look at that. Should should be... Aha! Aha! I found you, you sneaky little bugger. Trying to fuck up my tank, huh? Alright, boys. So, let's actually see if my job was good and if it will actually start. Let's go. Let's crank this boy up. And... Oh. There we go. Absolutely beautiful. Alright, boys. Are you ready? 152mm shell loaded. AC. Let's first actually fire at this red thing. Alright, let's see what happens. 3, 2, 1... Oh hey, what's up? Welcome back guys. Welcome back to Tank Mechanic Simulator, aka the full game this time again. Because, uh, yeah, as I already said in my previous video, this game is releasing the 20th of February and I basically have one week of early access, so I'm trying to play the crap out of it so I can pull a weird flex on everyone who hasn't played it yet. Yeah. Okay, but anyways, um, today we are going to continue on with our Tank Mechanic Simulator game. Uh, adventure, I don't know how the hell you want to call it. So again, if you want to pick up uh, this game yourself when it releases on the 20th of February, I'll leave a link to the Steam page in the description down below so you can check it out yourself. And uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get straight back into the game and let's see what new challenges are awaiting us in this beautiful game. Alright, so we're here at the garage, the tank mechanic garage. So far it looks kind of the same as in the demo. Um, so, as we all started in the demo, I'm going to check for new emails. And, oh, it looks quite a bit different. I guess the tank we see on bottom wasn't here in the demo. Uh, also, one positive thing about me of already playing the demo is that I kind of know how the game works right now. So hopefully, things will be going a lot smoother. So, we don't have any mails, so I guess we'll just wait for the mails to spawn in. And in the meantime, we just gotta check out some new stuff. Um... I guess I still have to unlock the museum right here. Oh no, it's already unlocked. That's absolutely awesome. And it still looks the same, I guess. Oh, maybe we can... <gasps> oh my god, my baby! My baby! You're back! Wait, what the hell? Okay, um... I am so happy by this. So apparently, I thought my save file from the demo was completely wiped, but that's apparently not the case because... My baby, my tiger, it's, it's back here. Oh my god. God, I actually... Okay, you know what? I'm first going to check the computer to see if we got any new emails. But if we only have KV-1s to restore, I am definitely going to do a test drive in the Tiger and maybe shoot this baby. Because, oh my god, really wanted to. Check for new mails. Open the computer. All right, Mr. Voice or text on the left screen. A new start. Uncle Tom. <laughs> Why does it sound like some kind of... Uh, okay, never mind. Uncle Tom to Leopard, new start. I have heard that you ha- Oh my god, I can't even read English. That you have taken over the tank business after your father. Ooh, is that the case? Apparently that is. I'm sending my condolences- Oh, he died. Oh wow, that, that's a weird plot twist. <laughs> he was my dear friend. Now I want to help you start. Here is my proposition. Disassemble and repair broken parts in my KV-1, then assemble the repair- oh. Okay, so Uncle Tom wants us to restore a KV-1. And I guess I have to accept this because it's the first thing. So I'm just gonna do that. So yeah, I am going to... Oh wait, this is actually kind of different. Oh, I'm actually very glad that this is uh, already a fully completed, almost fully completed KV-2. So I think this kind of works as some form of tutorial. So let's actually see, take a look at what this thing... Oh, it's gonna be easy restore. So only the front headlights, the tow ropes, and that's pretty much it. Oh, if this is the tutorial, then I'm gonna fix this real quick. Okay, click middle mouse. Okay, I'm just gonna follow the tutorial real quick. Open storage. Yeah. Click to highlight the tank. Uh, KV1. Ooh, spoiler alert. That was a list of all the tanks in the game. Uh, click the highlighted button to order outsource repairs. To order the selected parts and repairs. Oh wait, this is actually new for me. So, I actually didn't know this. This is like new from the demo. Because apparently you can also just simply replace the parts other than like rust gun it and stuff. Uh, outsource parts, sell, recycle. Click the highlighted button to order the selected parts for repairs. Yeah, but wh where is the highlighted button? 
Yeah, dumb fuck. Is it this one? Cost operation, max time require. Uh, we'll just try it, I guess. Okay, now wait until the parts are repaired. You can close the storage menu. Oh, so this is in case you are just a lazy fuck nugget. You can actually send the parts out and make other people do it for you. Oh, wow, that's that's very handy. That makes my life a whole lot easier. Thank you, tutorial. Much appreciated. All right, so I think I'm just going to wait for these parts to uh, get restored. And uh, I'm just going to slap them back on the tank. Let's see, KV-1. So I have to wait 26 seconds. All right, in the meantime, I'm going to check my PC really quickly. Let's see what we got here. Repair contracts. <gasps> Oi, Blitz! Oi blitz, oi blitz, oi blitz, oh ho oi blitz. Okay, I'm actually wanna accept this. Dang it, I was all, I was already waiting for that opportunity. Uh, you know, the moment that I got an email from the devs announcing the full game, the first thing that came into my mind is, oh god, I really wanna restore KV1. And finally, the game gods have listened to me. Okay, so that's definitely the next thing I'm gonna do. So let's quickly wrap up this tutorial. Uh, now I can simply just finish the order. There we go, voila, very nice. But I love the tutorial, by the way, because that was really something I was missing in the demo. That was a clear tutorial like this. Um, but yeah, anyways, cool, cool. So that's out of the way. Let's now actually start the Gucci Blit. Oi, Blit. I am definitely gonna accept this order. Guys, are you ready for this? The moment I've been waiting for in this bloody fucking game. The KV2. 3, 2, 1. Accept. Where are you? Where are you, Babushka? Oh, he bled, my baby. Look at that. Oh, oh, oh. oh is, isn't she beautiful, guy? No, actually, she's not, but I have to fix her up. But, god dang it, this is going to be a hell of a sexy tank. Okay, so, I guess the good thing now is we found our main objective for this video. We're going to restore this beautiful piece of uh, Stalinium to its full capabilities. And now, since it's the full game, we can actually drive and shoot it. So, that's going to be hella epic. So yeah, without further ado, let's just get started with this thing. I forgot. I, I know it has been a while since I restored a tank in this game, but I first, of course, have to demount the uh, turret and the engine. So let's do that first. Oh boy, that's a hella big turret. And uh, let's put the engine out of it as well. Anyways, while clearing... Hello? Excuse me, what the fuck? Oh, there we go. <laughs> God, got some force powers there. Uh, never mind, I thought I completely rust my, uh, lost my rust removal tool there, but luckily that's not the case. A very beautiful. Alright, so let's first get the exterior free of rust. Actually, I should do the engine first, but I think I'm gonna spice some things up today. And I'm going to do the uh, chassis first. So, um, let's disassemble this engine. And the fun thing is, I believe I do have some experience with this, uh, because this should be the exact same engine that the KV-1 has. And if you've watched my previous episodes in this series, I also already restored a KV-1. So hey, good for me, I guess. Right, so let's fully disassemble this boy. And always for <laughs> never forget the dipstick, I can still remember that. And when it's fully disassembled, I'm gonna clear everything from rust, I'm gonna reassemble it again and order some of the missing parts. And okay, so actually, I think I still know a little life hack here. Uh, because, if I'm not mistaken, you can actually order all the missing parts of this thing. So, see, tank analysis. Buy missing parts. See? Accept. Crap. You do not have enough money for this. You need 13,000. Uh. Care? Hold on, so I have 11,000, I need 13, oh no, gotta be kidding me. So yeah, that's also a little thing in the game. In order to make use of this handy dandy filter, it does come with a 1.75 cost multiplier. And guess what, I do not have enough of that, so that's rather sad. So yeah, this means that I do have enough for all the parts, but I do need to buy them like separately by going back and forth in the computer. So that's kind of suck. But anyways, everything from my bed. So I got the exhaust pipe, the engine header. And I need... Okay, so let's start with these two. So an exhaust pipe and the engine ahead. Uh... Wait, which one is it? It's probably this one. Uh, Alright. Check out. 
So that's the exhaust pipe. We also need the other exhaust pipe because I think we're missing that one as well. Yeah, and we need the engine header. So let's get these ones as well. Here we go. And engine header. And we need an exhaust pipe, but the long one. And that should hopefully complete the engine. Did I really bought the wrong one? No way. Engine header. Dude, I literally bought an engine header, didn't I? Let's see. KV2. Engine header. Uh, oh, wait, this is also new. Didn't notice this before. Okay, so I'm gonna go with Sandblasted, of course, and check out. That should do it, right? There we go. So I don't know, maybe it didn't check out or anything. So I think the parts are now actually complete the engine, which is happy days because now we only need to sandblast it. And then the engine should be fully operational again. All right, so am I missing anything? Let's quickly check because I also know how to do this now. Tech analysis, engine. Ooh, we're still missing something. The engine header is still not sended. Engine header. Wait, this is an engine header, right? Hold on. Did I miss it then? 98. Engine header. Like, these are the engine headers. I know that, but... Okay. Okay. Why does an engine header need primer? Okay, let's try that. Doesn't make any sense for it to need primer, but... Uh, okay. Let's see, does this work? Oh yeah, now it does. So, I don't know why it needed primer. It also doesn't look like it's sandblasted now. So I guess that might be a glitch. But, uh, that's no, that's all okay. Because the thing that's most important here now is that the engine is now fully functional. So, that's absolutely beautiful. Because now I can simply sandblast uh, this thing. Oh wait, I think I forgot something with the rust removal. So let's quickly go over that. The ayer, rust removal. There we go. And this one was it. There we go. So I think most of the interior is all rust removed. Let's quickly double check. In case we are missing something. Doesn't quite look like it. Alright, beautiful. And also by the looks of it, it's not missing an awful lot of parts. I mean, it's missing some of the wheels. It's missing the full tracks. But other than that, it looks pretty complete, to be fair. Which is always a good sign. Oh, by the way, this look of the KV-2 actually reminds me of a video I did, like, ages ago. Um, I don't know if there's a lot of people who are still watching me, who actually used to watch me, like, two, three years ago as well. But I used to... Oh, that that's annoying, because this thing is so high, I can't climb on top of it. Oh wait, oh wow, I actually can. These ladders work, how genius. Um, but anyways, what I was talking about is back in the days I used to make a video uh, of a KV-2 with a chrome skin and I actually used to joke and mock about the fact that Wargaming simply released uh, KV-2s or premium tanks in general with different skins in order to be lazy. Talking about lazy, I completely forgot to rust remove the top of this turret, which is not good. So let's quickly do that. But yeah, anyways, um, this actually kind of reminded me of, of that video. So if you're around for that long and you can still remember the video I'm talking about, let me know in the comments because you're an absolute legend. You deserve some kind of, I don't know, you deserve a cookie or something. You know, the, the, good, the good thing about the KV-2 is that you can actually um, be quite movable in the turret because as you can see, it's hella spacious in here, which is a good thing. I mean. Definitely not a good thing for combat, but it's good for filthy tank restorers like me to simply just walk around a little bit. Oh, by the way, I just realized this tank is actually not mine. It's a, a client tank. And um, if you remember from my previous Tank Mechanic Simulator episodes, I kind of stole a Sherman from a client. <coughs> So, um, yeah, I don't know what is up with it, because I think the Sherman actually is not in my museum anymore. So maybe the game, like, automatically 
sells the tank back to the client if you keep it. But I think that is the case. Which means that we sadly can't keep this KV-2. Like, how sad is that, boys? That's hella sad. Because I really want this thing in my garage. I mean, I love my, my baby the tiger, who is already in the garage. But, to be fair, I love the KV-2 a whole lot more. Also, because I think we're done sanding now, which means we can put on the primer. Two hours later. Alright, but... The positive side, I guess all the primer is on the chassis now, so let's move on to this massive cardboard box of a turret. Later. Okay, so I guess that's all primed. Now let's switch to the... Let's see, to the normal paint coat, which is this one. And let's actually enter the final stage of restoring this thing. Six hours later. Alright, that's all cool. So... <clears throat> now comes the pain in the butt because I now have to put it in assembly mode and I have to order all these parts separately. So god dang it, it's gonna take a long time. So let's start off with a road wheel, two buffers, and two mid-track belts. So two buffers, two track belts, and one road wheel. I'm probably gonna forget this, but I'm gonna try anyways. So two buffers, one, two. Let's check out one road wheel and two track pieces, like the mid ones. There we go. Alright, slap these bad boys on. That's buffer one. There's buffer two. And fuck, I bought the wrong ones. Because I bought the uh, ones that are not already primed. And not already painted, so that's hella sad. Okay, so I don't have these parts. Wow, well, I do have these parts. Wait, what? Okay, that's weird. So I don't remember actually having this kind of part. So, uh, yeah, I need to pay attention to that because I actually kind of want to buy the parts pre primed and stuff. But on the other. Whoops. Whoop, no. But on the other hand. Um, buying these parts, like, unprimed and stuff, does cut down the cost a little bit, so that is very nice. But I also believe, I'm not quite sure, that the option of buying certain parts, like, primed, sanded, or only rusty, that that option actually wasn't inside of the demo for some reason. So, I don't know, probably should watch back the old videos. Alright, let's actually check the price difference of all these things. Because I do still need some track belts here, so... See, this is sandblasted price. Prime price. Okay, so the primed and the painted price is actually the same. So that's good to know. But they're also like $110 more expensive. Or, I could be a real cheap scan and actually buy them all rusty. Or even dirty. Huh. Because, God, the rusty parts, they're actually hella darn cheap. Okay, I'm just gonna try and see if this actually is efficient. It's probably gonna take me a while, though, but... Then again, I don't care. So let's rust remove these anyways. Uh, let's see. Can I have this one again? No. I can install a road wheel, though. Alright, so let's get the tools again. Here we go, let's just remove these things. So yeah, I'm just experimenting with a little bit of the stuff that's now in the full game, guys. So yeah, I'm also not really sure what's like the most efficient way to do it. I mean, I guess you can actually restore the tank very, very cheaply if you don't have a lot of money, but it will take you a whole lot more time. And actually, I do actually have a lot of time right now, but... I kind of want this to be done as quick as possible because, god, I want to drive this thing. Oh god, I actually even hope if you can drive tanks that are not yours. Because if that's the case, then I'm going to be hella sad. Okay, so... Um... Yeah, let's actually get the rest of the stuff here. So, assembly mode. So, the track belt and the front track belt. I actually kind of have to gamble which track belts are the right one. So, let's go back again. Let's go to the KV-2. Wreck belt. 
Oh, now it's actually... Oh, they added it, so that's great. So in the demo, it actually didn't say front and rear, but now they do, so... Thank you, devs, for doing that shit. By the way, I think I'm just gonna buy all the parts rusty, because it's just so much cheaper. And... Yeah, I mean, it's not really a big hassle to, like, unrust these parts, because, I mean, you've been busy for the entire tank anyways. That makes sense. So, let's get the rust remover. Let's get these things rust-free. Very nice! So, let's now move to the right side. Uh, oh god, it's actually missing a whole lot of parts. Okay, so... Wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna do a pro gamer move here. I am going to get a piece of paper. I'm gonna get a pen. Do I have a pen? Yes. I just have to gotta write down which parts I need. Alright, so I need a buffer. Buffer. I need... How many track belts? One, two, three... Four mid-track belts. Four track belts. Mid-version. I need one rear track belt. One front track belt. Uh, I need one wheel. And I guess that's it. And one wheel. See? Ladies and gentlemen, these are called stonks. This is combining old technology with new one. Because now I simply have to look at my little piece of paper and I can order them in one go. I am going to order them all rusty. Because I'm a cheapskate. Uh, wait, am I in the KB2? Yeah, I think I am. So let's order a buffer. Let's order some track parts. So I need one, two, three, four of those. One of those, one of those. And I need one wheel. Oh, fuck. Which, which type is it? I think... Yeah, it's a road wheel. It's got to be a road wheel. But then again, <laughs> it's only $9, so... Who the hell am I kidding? Alright, so check out. Accept. Wait, did it buy the other ones? Because it only subtracted $9. I think... Yeah, so I think that's a glitch as well. So you have to really check them out one by one. Alright, so let's do that. Don't worry guys, probably when this game gets released on the 20th, they have probably already patched all the glitches. Because that's also one of the reasons why I'm playing this game. To help the devs out a little bit and to... Uh, let's see. And to uh, eliminate the glitches. So you guys can enjoy the game glitch free. So I think what the problem is here. Uh, you can like select multiple things and check out. And they will simply. Uh, you'll simply get them all. But once you enter a different thing in the search. For example right here. It basically deletes all the parts that you've already selected. So I guess that's the problem right there. So hopefully the uh, devs will fix that soon. There we go. See? So this actually works pretty well. Let's hammer the pins in. Oh, by the way, fun fact about Soviet tanks, if you didn't notice already. And I actually know this fact by heart, so that's why I'm telling it, guys. Otherwise, I couldn't read it out, of course. Wow, that's also weird. Uh, for some reason, the rear track belts on both of the sides actually already came pre-primes. I don't know if that's supposed to happen. I don't think that's actually supposed to happen, but it still happened. I mean, I'm happy with it. Saves me some work. But anyways, uh, what I wanted to tell you guys is... The fun thing with Russian tanks, because they rushed out production so fast on this thing. Not only on the KV-2, but basically on every Russian tank ever made. Um, for example, a German design. Um, these little pins right here that hold on the tracks. Usually uh, in like a German design, or literally anything other than Russian. Uh, they would actually make thingies on uh, these little pins that hold them down that actually hold the pins in place. But the Russians thought like, yeah, but screwing uh, a nut on all of these little pins is so much work in the, in, the, in the factory. So instead, the Russians decided, you know what, if we just slap a little brick on here, I don't know if I can find it in this tank. They probably don't have this in this model, but usually on a Russian tank, there should be right around uh, here, on like the chassis side, there should be like a block that uh, hammers the pins back in when um, when they are starting to fall apart. So that's actually quite... Uh, I don't know if it's innovative or... It's actually quite a clever trick though. And apparently it still, it still won them the war because, to be fair, the Russians completely butt whooped the Germans. Mainly because of stuff like that, just because of sheer numbers. And because of uh, smart and lazy solutions to these engineering problems they came up with, they actually won the war because they could produce way more tanks in a way shorter time span 
So they could simply win from the Germans on sheer numbers. And I forgot to order a track belt. What the frick? Et voila. So, let's do a last little check. Am I still missing stuff? Ooh, I'm still missing this. I'm missing a shackle. The good old shackles. So, I'm missing a shackle. Is there anything on the top? Oh boy. Okay, so I miss. Uh, let, let's get my piece of paper here. Um, so I'm missing a radiator. A radiator. I'm missing a shekel. Shekel. And a gearbox cover. Why am I writing it down actually? I could simply just open a notepad file. But then again, this is more fun or more entertaining. I don't fucking know. Uh, gearbox front cover. Uh, anything else? Doesn't look like it. Uh, Alright, so let's get these items from the shop. So, here we go. KV2. Let's get the radiator. Let's buy them all rusty. Because, hey, I'm a poor guy. Let's buy a shackle. So that's a pro tip. If you got the time and you have, uh, you want to, uh, hold on, gearbox cover and gearbox front cover. There we go. So my tip, if you have the time, buy all of the parts that you're missing, buy them in the rusty configuration. Because they're so incredibly much cheaper than when you buy them pre-primed and stuff. But if you simply want to get the tank fully operational as fast as possible. Oh god, I'm missing way more than this. Uh, yeah, then they're simply buy them all painted. Alright, so let's fill on my list again. So I need an engine cover. But before I'm going to install it, I first need to like rust them. And another gearbox front cover. There we go. So let's buy these two things. Then de rust anything. And then get the engine deck back on. So, uh, whoops, engine, whoa, no, I can't type, engine cover, yeah, and another gearbox front cover, there we go, so, uh, let's actually get this, whoa. uh, okay, let's get my tools, rust removal, Let's unrust this. Oh wait, before I do this, let's actually uh, assemble this thing here. Yeah. Oh god. No. Hello. There we go. Alright, so let's remove the rust on these boys. Luckily, it's not too much. Uh, there we go. I should do it. Let's get the sand blaster. Sand blaster. I don't know why I'm talking like this. Please don't ask. Okay, there we go. Ah, God, it's so hard to jump. Really? Go oh, I, I'm. I really have like spasm or something. There we go. All right, that's that. That is that. And the radiator. E voila. So now let's get the rest of the stuff on there. So let's get the engine cover on. And we're probably going to be missing all of these parts as well. Oh boy, this is an entire list as well. Alright, so let's write it down again. So, we need a, a transmission cover hatch times two. We need an exhaust times two. We need an engine hatch. Engine hatch, not times two, and we need a radiator. Radiator, which is probably the cover plate, so I have to make sure that I get the difference with that. So also times two. That should be it for the back. So let's get all these parts. So no, no Pershing. I don't want the Pershing, there we go. KV2, so uh, let's see, trans mission cover hatch. We need an exhaust, these ones, times two. We need an engine hatch, uh, which is this one. 
And we need two radiators. Which are these two. Alright, so let's slap those bad boys on there. And that should complete the engine deck of our beloved KV-2. And for some reason I only bought one of these. What the frick? So, let's buy another hatch cover. Transmission uh, hatch cover. There we go. Blip. And that's it. Oh wait, I actually thought there, it also had some cables on the back, but apparently this one doesn't have that. So, happy days. I also don't have to buy it. So, let's get the rust removing. And this should actually be be the very last thing of our KV-2. And that should now be actually it. So let's make this all green. There we go. There we go. Let's drop this one down here. Get this on. Drop this down here. And yeah, it looks like it's actually complete. So let's pop the engine back in, if I can. Can I? Yeah, there we go. So the engine is back in now. Uh, getting all sort of rewards as well, so that's pretty funny. Uh, plate, pop this one back down. And let's get the turret on here. Bada boom. And oh boy, look at that. It took us some time. Uh, let's see. OBS says that it took us uh, like one hour minus the intro is probably 50 minutes, I guess. But God, in those 50 minutes, you actually do have a very nice result. But now, is it actually complete? That's what I'm wondering. Because usually there's always some stuff missing. Oh boy, that's not good. So apparently it still has a back turret MG. And apparently the transmission and the fuel system is completely fucked still. <laughs> so yeah, we gotta check that out, otherwise it obviously won't start. So, apparently I missed two transmission shafts, fuck's sake, which means I can disassemble the entire gearbox again. Let's pop the engine in without the engine cover. Fans, now oh, that looks all good. So it should be... Aha! Aha! I found you, you sneaky little bugger. Trying to fuck up my tank, huh? Sanding, ah, oh, needs some sanding, it's already rust free, here we go. But god, luckily we found a problem here. Look at this, this cheeky little bugger. Was about to tear apart the entire engine compartment of this thing. Not on my watch. Alright, so let's check out what we're still missing now. So now we're still missing, the driver's seat is not fully fixed. At least the gearbox is fixed now, so at least the tank is not gonna explode when I start it. So that's a good thing. Ah, I see, this is what I forgot. Ha ha ha, can't enter battle with a sanded driver's seat, no way Jose. You see that's also a good thing when you buy everything rusty. If you make a mistake, it only costs you like, what, a, a, a couple a couple ten bucks or something? Instead of like a few hundred when it's already pre-painted. But, there's something beautiful happening right now because, if I'm not mistaken, my KV-2 should now be 100% restart. So, let's take a quick look at that, and... Fuck, we're still missing something. So, whole exterior. And you go... Oh, yeah, of course, I still have to mount these things on. Whoops, completely forgot about that. So, let's do that quickly. So, once I've mounted and reassembled everything here, this KV-2 should now be 100%. Wabam! Let's see. Stats. Still not? What? What's still not painted? Hello? Engine header. Shack. Oh, we're missing the bloody shackle. The bloody shackle. You gotta be kidding me. There we go. See, there's always some small things that you forget. That's why you should always double check. But, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the most beautiful tank in the entire game. The mighty KV-2, Stalinium himself, look at that. So, if this were the demo, I would be pretty much done right here. But since we're actually playing the full game, I should be able to drive this thing. 
so that's exactly what I'm going to try and do here. So I'm going to move this thing to the yard where I can start it up safely. Let's go to the yard. All right, so here it is, boys. My beautiful KB2. So, uh, let's see, tank status. Uh, test drive menu. All right, so before we're gonna test drive this, let's first fill it up with the fluids. So let's fill it up with gas and stuff. All right, boys. So let's actually see if my job was good and if it will actually start. Let's go, let's crank this boy up. And... Oh. There we go, absolutely beautiful. So it starts, that's a good sign, which means we can safely take it for a test drive. Okay, so this is the point where I actually don't know what to do. So in order to take to a test drive, I think I have to... No, close, hold on. Drive. Test drive. Fuck, I just don't have the room unlocked. All right, oh no, please don't tell me I have to buy this stuff. I think this is the test driving. Oh god, look at that. I have a crap ton of reputation. All right, let's go for it. Description, test drive yard. Yes, please. What's this? Parking level 2. Upgrade 60. So this is going to be 90. Wait, do I have enough for that? No, I don't. So I don't have enough for the shooting range, which is kind of sad. Oh, I actually do. No way. Proving grounds. Proving grounds. Yeah, let's fucking do it. Let's go. Wabam. So... Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Hopefully, we can drive this thing. Not only drive this thing, but we can also shoot it now. All right, boys. So, now we should be able to take it to the test drive. Oh, boy. Hype mode is indeed. Hype mode is indeed engaged here. Oh, God. What's this? Test drive area. In this area, players can put tanks to test drive around. Open menu. la di da di da All right. Let's go it. So, we got my boy here. The KV-2. Get inside. Let's go. The loader, the gunner, commander. So I guess I have to go to the driver's seat. Can I start it? Show controls. All right. So we got the throttle, brake, left, right, exit, toggle engine. All right. So first, toggle the engine. Here we go. Oh boy, look at this. So can we drive now? Oh, we actually can. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Uh, what's happening? Okay, so even at the slightest touch it turns hella weird. Alright, so let's change camera view. Camera C. Oh boy, look at that. Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, can I go? Can I go? Oh, I think it's... <laughs> Look at this. All right. Um, um, is this supposed to happen? <laughs> All right. Let's calm, calm down a bit. So this is the inside view. All right. Can I w drive through the driver hatch? So for some reason, my camera, uh, my tank keeps spinning. At least the light works. Okay, so by the looks of it, the devs really have to uh, take a look at the test driving feature because I swear to God, the engine is off. I'm not touching the keyboard or anything, but it keeps spinning around for some reason. But yeah, I guess that's how far I can go with the test driving, I believe. So uh, that was the test drive. Not as successful and not really what I was hoping it to be, but we also still have the proving grounds. So I don't know if it's like a mix of a test drive and shooting, but... We'll see what it's going to offer for us. Oh boy, this looks promising. Approach the tank again into the driver slots. Wait, what's this all? We got a tablet and a radio. Oh, this looks a whole lot cleaner than the driving area, to be fair. Wait, where's my baby? Where's my baby? KV2, where are you? Hello, baby? Baby? Baby, you there? Hello. Hopefully you're not gonna spin around now. Uh, get inside, drive a slot. Let's change camera angles to make it a little easier. Oh my god, this looks promising. 
Alright, so guys, fingers crossed. Hopefully the driving mechanic does actually work here. Alright. Okay, so let's hope it doesn't spin first gear. Oh, here it does actually work. Oh, that's amazing. Alright, let's do it, boys. Okay, so apparently it's just a glitch that only affects the test drive area. But this is basically a test drive area and a shooting range in one, so... I guess that's no biggie, but damn, look at that! Guys, isn't this amazing? Like, this tank, you literally spend an hour to rest rate and you can finally drive it around. I mean, how cool is that? That is pretty epic. Alright, so let's get this boy in position. And let's see if we can actually shoot some targets here. God, it definitely replicates the real speed of a KV-2. Holy heck. Here we go. Let's try and climb up. Nice and easy. Uh, come on, engine. Don't die on me. There we go. Oops, I think... Oh wait, this is first gear, right? Yeah, that's first gear. So let's drive up a little more and put it in neutral. Alright, so I think I have to get into... Oh my god, look at that. Wait, what happens when I pull the trigger? Nothing? Okay. So, uh, I think I have to switch to the gunner's seat here. Gunner slot. Aim and shoot at the highlighted targets. Alright, but how can I shoot here? I, I can't see shit. Please help me. Oh, there we go. That's more like it. Alright, boys, are you ready? 152mm shell loaded. AC. Let's first actually fire at this red thing. Alright, let's see what happens. 3, 2, 1. <laughs> Holy shit, that's awesome. <laughs> oh my god, that's awesome. Alright, let's wait for the reload. Oh, that's damn quick, by the way. Actually, a little too quick for a KV-2, but... Oh well. Let's try and actually hit a... Oh, you can actually zoom in, that's also nice. Let's try and hit one of the moving targets here. Uh, boom! Oh wow, it actually has recoil and drop and stuff. That's awesome. So they did actually think about that. That's hella great. Alright, let's actually try and aim for that thing there. I guess it's probably a little too high, but we'll give it a go anyways. <laughs> uh, a little too high. Okay. Let's a little higher then. Wow, this is actually some next level ship, man. This is way better than a demo. You can actually shoot your tank and stuff. I mean, how awesome is that? And boom. Oh, I completely missed that. It was also way too far out. Oh, God. Alright, this should be better, I guess. It should control here. Yeah. Brake, exit. Switch ammo type is V. Alright. Shoot this one. Ooh, that's almost it. Alright, so I'm not gonna fire itchy. See, it's got a different effect here. You should fire at something closer. Uh, maybe this little red thing right there. Here we go. Three, two, one. Ding. Wow, what? I should deflect it? Wow, what kind of super armor is that? Alright, but uh, yeah, that is basically the shooting range here for you. Uh, again, I think it can look a lot better. But then again, considering the times the dev had to like develop this game, I think it's pretty impressive. I mean, at least it works. The gun can shoot. So that is hella nice. Alright, so let's go back to the driver position. There we go. And wait, can I just exit right here? And reset position. Can I like, exit to garage? Reset tools? No. Get inside. Alright, let's go to the workshop. So that was fun. <laughs> That's actually pretty cool that you can actually like shoot your own tanks and stuff after you restore that. That's really like the, the cherry on the cake as they call it, right? So that's hella cool. Mm -hmm. But now, I guess we have approached a very sad moment, guys. We have to say goodbye to our dear and beloved KV2. It's gonna be sad, I'm gonna miss him. 
But we sadly can't keep him because it's not our tank. Which is hella sad. Alright, so... I'm gonna get 15k out of this, which is actually a nice profit. Alright, required pass 38, requires assembly. Oh wow, I way too overdone this. Alright, let's finish the order. Oh, sad moment. Everyone say goodbye to Mr. KV2. Maybe one day we'll be able to find a KV2 ourselves. And we'll be able to keep it for a museum. I mean, that would be hella cool. But until then, so long, partner. Oh, I got 15k for that. That's actually some sweet money. But yeah, that was another job done. So we actually managed to drive and shoot a KV2, which is hella awesome. Not to forget, we actually restored it as well fully from the beginning. So guys, uh, yeah, that's it for today's episode. So hopefully you guys enjoyed my journey of restoring the beautiful tank, aka the KV2. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like on it. It really helps out the channel by a lot. Also, let me know in the comments down below what you think about uh, this game. Uh, are you going to get it or are you not going to get it? Um, so yeah, I'm actually kind of hyped to see what other tanks this game uh, has to offer and actually drive them around and stuff. So yeah, I'm definitely going to play this game uh, a whole lot more often to actually find out what all the other tanks have to offer. But until then, guys, as always, have an awesome day. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys later. Jack it up.